Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and uh, we're in tutorial 6 now. So let's begin with, I'm going to open up iMovie right away. And uh, today's tutorial is not going to be very simple and uh, I do suggest you check out the previous tutorials so you can understand where we're at and what we have done and changed so far. But in the previous tutorial I'll do a quick overview, we covered uh, color balance and uh, color correction which were just to adjust the colors inside the video. Today we're going to be going into cropping the video and cropping different, different kind of crops and how you can adjust the video's size and items like this. So let's begin by select the, this bottom my main project clip here and I'm actually going to select this part outside with uh, outside of the picture in picture and uh, we're going to go to first going to start with fit. Fit here is okay I already have crop selecting it's under adjustments and I'm going to go crop and the first one we're going to cover is fit. And fit, what it basically does is it includes your entire clip here inside of your project. Then it sucks the entire video of your footage. Like let's say you have a letter sized uh, video. What I mean by letter sized is uh, you have a you have a black box here and you have a black box here and then you have your video. If you hit fit, it will include those two black boxes. And uh, sometimes people don't like that, like saying just the letter sized video because. It's just it's just annoying, honestly. I don't I I prefer watching the full video instead of having those two black boxes on the side or two black boxes on the tops. It's, it just really depends how you recorded the video. Most of the time, you want the full HD quality of a video. That's what basically Fit does is it includes the entire video, all the footage that you recorded, and the entire size of it. Now, when you crop, it, you can still you can still have the entire footage, but you get to choose how you, what part you want to film. Like let's say I only wanted this uh, I already forgot what the pomegranate that's what it's called I forgot what it's called pomegranate you have that part selected and you hit yes and there you are now I only have a pomegranate in my entire video <laughs> but then like who's gonna want to watch that so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna pause this and uh, I'm gonna go back to cropping and I'm gonna go to fit crop and there you are I have my crop and I have my entire item selected so I'm actually gonna crop some of this just to show you guys an example, there we are. Now it's just having my face right in the center of the video. And uh, here, okay, that's what basically cropping does. That's the most most commonly used type of cropping is just crop in general. Now you can have kin burns, which is basically adjusting the video as the video moves on, or this just this in the 7.2 seconds. By the end of the 7.2 second video, it's going to adjust its way all the way down here. And what I mean by that is, let's say, okay, you can. It has a start. Okay, you're gonna start on this large footage, which is bottom left hand corner here. It says start, and it will end right here, which says the bottom left hand corner end right there. So if I hit this checkbox, meaning done, well, it can start in our general location. And as you can see, the Kinburn. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it correctly, but Kinburn moves the video slightly all the way to the right hand side of the crop of where I selected it. Like if you don't understand exactly, for to explain this is uh, Ken Burns is basically you have these two boxes. One box is where it'll start. It will start, and then the second box is where it'll end up at the end of the clip that you have selected. And uh, this is actually used in like montages. People like end and zoom in and zoom in and out of like cool kills or something like that. But and then uh, it's also used to like further explain if you have a. Like you want to show in detail of what you're doing in a certain location, then you would you would zoom into that part using some kind of a transition like this, which is a really really useful tool. Now you can also swap them. You can have it end at this point and then start at this point, and or have start at this point and end at that point. It just it really depends on how you want to set it up. Now let's go into the next tools here. I'm gonna adjust this back to fit. That way we include the entire clip, and you can do cropping to either one. You can do this or your picture in picture. You can crop either one of the videos which is a really good feature as well. But now we're going to go into uh, these adjustments, which is rotate left, rotate right. It's basically, it's very self-explanatory. You can actually tilt the video and have it upside down if you want, which is also used for like cool highlight videos. You edit it a lot. You add a special effects and special features to the video. And there you are. Normally, I only have my video straight on forward because who really wants to watch a sideways video or a upside down video but this is what I meant by the black boxes sometimes when you record a video and you have these black boxes you hit fit it's gonna include this entire black black frame here for you which some most of the time people don't want to watch you see you got the full black frame that's what I meant by it 
and uh, that's fit. Now you can crop it and you can have just this part here. And there you have, you only have my face sideways, which is very, very <laughs> not the way you should record a video. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the normal setting and fit. And there you have it. That was a good example, I believe. So, and then also, if you make a mistake and like you crop something, you deleted something, you made it wrong, you can also use this undo button and it'll redo it back to your previous selection. And there you are, checkbox, you're done. And there's your cropping for this video, cropping in iMovie 10.0. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to ask me anything, anything below, and I'll be sure to make a tutorial on it. Thank you guys for watching. Later.